Hey, why do I have to carry the heavy one? It could break the shelf. What about my back? When it comes to keeping your boat from floating away, I guess it's good to have an anchor made from something nice and heavy, like these cast iron fishies. Metal is one of the most useful materials there is, and at DEMCON we recover about 5,000 tons of it each year. Some of this comes from the cans and other metal items that go into your recycling carts at home. At DEMCON Metal Recycling, we also take metal you can't put in the bin. Things like wire and cable, computer parts, construction debris, and even entire cars. Most of the aluminum that DEMCON collects comes from soda cans, and 60 days later, it usually ends up right back on the shelf as a brand new can or other product. The iron and steel that we collect is loaded into trucks with a powerful magnetic crane and taken to a facility that shreds it up into smaller pieces. Now, foundries like this one can reuse this metal, turning it into valuable new products like vehicle and machine parts. Hey, have you ever made a sand castle at the beach? Well, believe it or not, the casting process starts in a similar way. Except instead of buckets and shovels, powerful machines squeeze damp sand into just the right shape to form the complex molds used to create iron castings. Here in the melt area, this computer-controlled magnetic crane loads scrap metal and other key ingredients into these red-hot 2,700-degree furnaces. Every seven minutes, 1,600 pounds of molten iron is tapped from the furnace and poured into the sand molds, taking the shape of whatever item is being cast. When the metal is cooled and solidified, the mold travels down a vibrating conveyor that rattles it apart, releasing the new castings from the sand. There's usually some finishing and machining work needed to get the castings into their final form, and metal workers use computerized equipment to shape, grind, and trim the castings to perfection. This high-tech foundry melts and pours over 100 tons of iron every day, turning it into more than 3,000 amazing products, including you handsome fellas. Mining and processing raw materials to make brand new metal takes a lot of energy and can be pretty hard on the environment, so recycling the metal we already have makes a lot of sense. In the United States, about half of our cans still aren't recycled, and I know we can do a whole lot better. So let that sink in. I'm about to catch a big one. <laughs>